honestly, I'm covering the Holger 556 because I got a new blueprint that kind of glows a little bit. And it just inspired me to make a new build. I haven't covered the Holger 556 this season, and I just wanted to touch on it a little bit. Obviously, there's been some new attachments added to the game. I've played around with a lot of things, and it's one of my most used assault rifles in the game, believe it or not. I understand a lot of people consider it to not be meta, but it did get banned by the pros for a reason. And it's quite simple. You have the three shot potential, has a crazy headshot multiplier with very good damage range. If you find a way to control that recoil, which I've done in this build. For my first attachment, I've said this in a previous video, I believe I've been experimenting a lot with this optic and you guys may see it a little more in the future. I really like the feel of it. I feel like it zooms out the FOV a little bit. I don't know if that's correct or not, but it just does have a good feel. So if you guys haven't tried it out, I highly recommend you do so. But as always, feel free to run whatever optic you want here. Our next attachment is gonna be the Ascent Lord stock. And this is not the stereotypical stock you would think when targeting things like recoil control. If you're targeting strictly recoil control, you go with the RB Adol Assault stock there. But what I wanted to do is control the visual shake on the weapon. This weapon actually doesn't have a crazy recoil pattern, but it does have a lot of shake, and that's where the Ascent Lord stock is going to come in. We are getting 7% to gun kick, but most importantly is the fire aiming stability. It's going to control a large amount of the visual shake on the weapon. For my next attachment, I am going with the Intruder Grip for aim down sight speed and aim walking speed. What's different about this rear grip is we're not sacrificing recoil control. A lot of the rear grips that give you aim down sight speed do sacrifice recoil control in return, whereas this one doesn't. So we're going to be getting a 9% increase to ADS there, along with 15% to ADS movement speed. Over here to an underbarrel, I do have the Bruin Heavy support grip. I just talked about fire aiming stability, and this underbarrel does the best job at controlling that. We're getting 10% to gun kick, 8% to horizontal recoil control, and even more fire aiming stability. And for the final attachment is the Quartermaster Suppressor. As always, I don't see this attachment really ever changing unless they add an even better one in season six, the quartermaster suppressor is going to be my go-to just because of the large increase to recoil we're getting here. 11% to gun kick, 23% to horizontal recoil control, and then 10% to vertical recoil control. Obviously, this isn't the most fast-paced assault rifle in the game, but with these attachments on it, you get to just overtake the medium and long ranges, in my opinion. You hit one headshot, it's a three-shot kill. It's extremely easy to be accurate with, and I highly recommend you copy all the attachments down. Pause the video if you have to. You guys are going to enjoy this one. And as always, here's the rest of that loadout on the screen that you guys could copy down as well. I want you guys to make sure you're hitting the like and subscribe button for me. Hitting the like button will push the video to new viewers looking for Modern Warfare 3 content. It'll tell them that this is a good video, it's a good build, and they should be seeing it. Let's jump into the gameplay. You can see what the Holger 556 is all about. Hope you enjoy. We are going to be running it up on Karachi here with the Holger 556. Honestly, I'm making this setup because I got this cool little blueprint. It starts to glow and stuff. I don't know what triggers it to glow. I don't know if it's like if it's like kills or if it just randomly glows. I have no idea, but it doesn't matter. We're going to try to run it up here in Karachi. We're going to get some kills. Make some people rage. Oh, my God. We're going to be aggressive with it as well. We're not just going to play all passively. I do have a slower paced weapon here, so I got to be conscientious about the gunfights I'm taking. Well, obviously, top third here is what controls this map. So I'm going to be floating around here, at least for the first objective. It's looking like the spawns of flip. So I'm going to hit a little rotation here. Got a UAV. Nice job, teammates. Okay. Not exactly the fastest paced map as always, so I'm not really pressing too hard. I saw this guy cross. Should be here. Okay. Bite a gas. I guessed right. I'm good. We're going to dip out of that. Nice job, team. Dang. Oh, my team's on it. Oh, are they all leaving? My teammates kind of gave them the meat, and they're not interested anymore, I think. Dang. Oh, oh, is he raging? I don't speak Spanish. Enemy 
I don't speak Spanish, so I don't know if that was rage or what that was. Bring that ass here. Well, we know where he's at. They got double grenades on it. People are spawning in. Requesting recon we'll go with this. I messed up. Grenaded at the wrong time. Well, we're hitting him. This guy should be right here. Okay. I can't see that guy. I don't want to get too aggressive with it. I do have the VTOL obviously to use, but I prefer to play this at least a little passively. My teammate just got a quad feed. He just got a quad feed with a mosquito drone. I couldn't get that kind of luck if I begged for it. You know how common it is for them to, to hit through middle. So I gotta be, again, gotta be, I gotta pay attention to that. Fast UAVs end. So this should save us some trouble, at least on the flank front. Oh, my teammates hitting them with the pre-fires. If they're going to walk through that doorway, they're going to get lit up by both me and teammate. We're in it. It's only a brutal, actually. Huh. I'm going to go a different way. I'll let teammates handle that. That almost hurt really bad. Let's see if we can take top third control and then maybe we can just shoot down at him. Pick up some easier kills than trying to take him head on like that. I burned an advanced UAV. I burned too much time here. In fact, they've left the hill. Why did they leave the hill? This is taking me longer than I would have wanted. Like a way longer than I would have wanted. They're just not playing into my hand. Loading the I had a great start and I haven't been able to replicate that. Alright, we'll use this. Close air. Target mark. All right, boy, are we hitting them? They're all over the map right now. Where are you guys going? All right, I need the ping. There's a guy. Yep, there he is. We'll chuck the nades at the hill. See if that clears it. 
The SUV will definitely help. Let's go. What are we doing? I can't jump. What the hell? Enemy KIA. Loading fresh mag. There's a guy over there, but they're all facing this way, and he's not facing me, so I'm going to target this way. Well, this game's going to wrap up. My teammates got an Overwatch helo. I have a VTOL in the air. It, it's done and dusted for sure. I don't know how they come out of this one with a W. If they do, it's w wildly impressive. Wow, I just got bodied. Holy smokes. Oh, my veto. Holy. Yeah, like I said, between the Overwatch Elo and the VTOL out in the air right now, I just don't see a world where they, they get out of this. I just don't see it. Our streaks are going to keep body them. They've resulted in just shooting stuff down. Well, my team hasn't jumped the hill, so there's a little bit of game here. Just a little bit. We'll hit this ladder, maybe a couple of, maybe a push or two more. I just realized my blueprint hasn't lit up yet. Not once this game has this blueprint lit up, unless I'm bugging. But like you guys saw in the firing range, this thing was supposed to be lighting up. Well, Tiptoe Beetle finally came in with his STG and bought my ass while I was trying to freaking use my veto, man. GG's. That's uh, 84. 84 on the board with the Hover 556. That was actually pretty fun. That thing is really satisfying to use.